Hey guys, this is Tori from McKenna Belt. Uh, this is part two of our how to calculate and build stair series. From our last series, if you remember, we, we figured out what we needed for our rise and run to get up to our landing. That was a rise of seven inches. We're using a standard 10 inch run, which is a standard for residential. Now I'm going to show you the tools that are used to lay out and then uh, mark and then cut your stringer. Uh, standard carpenter square, 16 on one side, 24 on the other. I like to have two of these when I'm cutting stringers. You'll see why when I start to lay them out. You'll need some stair knocks. These come in sets of two. They're available at Home Depot, Lowe's, any, uh, any construction or uh, carpentry store. Uh, power tools needed, you're going to need a skill saw and a jigsaw. The first thing we need to do is set up our, our carpenter square. I've already installed the knocks here. These, these come on and off just with a little, uh, little screw on there. You slide it on the side of the square, slide it down until the edge of it meets up with the number that you're after, which in this case is seven. This is going to be our rise. I'm going to put that right on the line and tighten it down. You can see this side is already set for ten. So this establishes our rise and run for each stair. I've crowned the material already. This is the top of the stringer, the side that we want to work from. I'm going to set my square against the knocks so that the knocks are touching the wood, which that now gives us our, our 10 inch run and 7 inch rise. No angles need to be calculated. This is all done for us by setting up our rise and our run. It's the bottom of the stringer, so I'm going to make sure I've got enough uh, room for the rise at the bottom of the stringer. This is where I like to have two squares. You can lay them against one another and get the corresponding angle without having to move your square off the end of the material. So I'm going to mark the bottom, and then I'm going to start my layout running up the stringer. When you move to your next stair, you just line up your knot with the line that you left at the last one point to point, and move your way up. We needed six rises to get up to our landing. The sixth rise is when we step onto the landing. Our stringer will have five rises. One, two, three, four, five. This is the top of our stringer here. So I'm going to square this off. This will be the part of the stringer that fits against the landing. Say that again. This is going to be the part of the stringer that sits against the landing. So I'm going to square it off here and make and this is where my cut will be. I'm going to make an adjustment to this line in a minute, which I will explain. This establishes our basic stringer here. We've got our five rises and our stairs are laid out here. We need to make some adjustments to this before we cut it out. Our, our first adjustment is on top of each of these rises, we're going to have stair, stair tread material. In this particular set, we're using inch and an eighth stair tread material. So if I don't make an adjustment to the bottom of the stringer, the first rise is going to be eight and one eighth inches instead of seven inches. So I need to take off the thickness of the tread material off the bottom of the rise stringer. So I'm going to mark here. Uh, I need. Uh, there's our standard seven inch rise. I'm coming off of that an inch and an eighth. That's the bottom of our uh, stringer. Now I need to cut a notch out of here for a two by four uh, ledger that's going to be on the bottom of the riser that's going to lock this thing into the floor. So I'm going to measure over three and a half, up one and a half. So I make a knock out here for a 2x4. 
you can see why it's nice to have a second square that you can use without having to take the knocks off your work, your, uh, your layout square. There's our two by four. From this end of the stringer here, I want to put a ledger against the landing that I'm going to nail all my stringers to. It's going to be a two by material, so I need to minus an inch and a half off of the end of this, uh, off the end of the top of the stringer, or else my, str my rise on the top stair will be too long. So now I'm going to minus off an inch and a half. The square is an inch and a half in thickness on its short leg, so I'll just line that up, mark the inside. Continue that. Now we have our fully laid out stringer. Now it's time to go ahead and start cutting out the stringer. Some carpenters will overcut these until the point where they fall out. Don't do that. That's sloppy and it wears it uh, it weakens the stringer. Next we're gonna cut out all these, make the final cut. Show, I will have already cut out the rest of the stringers and the other parts necessary like this 2 by and the 2 by that goes here. I'll show you how to assemble this unit and then install it in place in the house. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on uh, part 3.